During the height of the pandemic, the government declared a health care emergency that is set to expire soon. Joining us today is Dean Cameron, president of the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, here to discuss the big impact this will have on health insurance. Every state has an insurance commissioner, and Cameron is the Idaho Director of Insurance, in addition to serving as president of the NAIC. Dean, welcome to the show. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. What effect would the emergency ending in January have on health insurance coverage? So when the health insurance emergency ends, people who qualified for certain types of coverage, Medicaid or subsidies to their health insurance plan, that may end or, um, or they'll lose coverage. Right now is the opportunity for open enrollment. Both Medicaid, Medicare, uh, Medicare Advantage plans and traditional health insurance is up for open enrollment. So now's the opportunity for consumers to be able to review what they need and make those decisions for the upcoming year rather than wait till January 11th. With open enrollment around the corner, what questions should consumers ask when they're considering purchasing a health care plan? So the first thing they should ask is, does this plan fit me? Does it, does it pay for the prescriptions I need? Is the doctor and hospital that and providers that I go to, are they in network? Secondly, you want to look at cost, not only the cost of your premium, but the cost of what you would have to pay out in the event you have a claim. Not always is the cheapest plan the best plan. So you want to look at that very carefully, and you're going to want to work with a local agent. Avoid the limited time offers, special discounted, um, uh, you know, the, the if it seems too good to be true, type advertising that's out there, rather work with the local agent. Where can we go if we want to find out more about health plans or what we are confused about our options? So every State Department of Insurance um, is uh, doing a good job in trying to protect consumers. So if you want more information, you can go to the Department of Insurance in your state. They also will have a, 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 a state health insurance assistance program uh, person who can help you. You can also go to NEIC.org. Thank you so much, Dean.